All right. Hopefully everything is working. Let's get started with more Mortal Shell in just a second. And there's no rush. There is no rush. It's only 8.58. Plenty of time for me to readjust my microphone. Micro adjustments, you know. All right, so we'll wait until nine. Just wanna, you know, get started earlier. Usually it takes some time for Twitch notifs to go out. And because of that, you know, it's always better to start a little bit earlier uh, if you can. I'll explain why I didn't stream until now, but I think people who follow me on Discord know know what's up. They know what's up in terms of uh, the storm and everything. It's not like, like nothing major. Set it up like it's some big reveal, but it ain't. Hey, Dean. Hey, yeah, on time. Perfect. Yeah, it's always nice. Streamers usually do this and I need to get into the habit of starting like a few minutes earlier. Give people time to join. I seems to be the thing to do. That's how DSP got caught beating his dick, you know, because he was on that like buffer period. And well, you know, a man's got to do what a man's got to do sometimes. And DSP decided to do it on stream. But it's all good. It's all good. But welcome, welcome. Hope everybody is having a nice Wednesday evening slash morning slash whatever time where you are. Today was actually nice. Uh, Monday we had the huge storm come through. And man, it was big. Uh, luckily it didn't like uh, damage anything. Yeah, we had similar. 40 miles is a lot. Uh, we we had a lot of wind and a massive storm. Um, I literally couldn't sleep. Hey, hey, anti Grim Reaper. I almost couldn't get to sleep because there was lightning every five seconds. And it kept like flashing through my windows, even though the curtains were drawn. And I was pissed. The thing that I'm like scared of mainly is uh, fucking ice, you know, or hail specifically. Ever since one of my friends at work, uh, he, his car got busted up by hail. And since then, that's like the weather pattern I am scared shitless of. Because, like, like, a big hill will fuck up your car. And if you don't have, uh, like, full insurance that covers it, you are basically fucked. So, anyways. Let's get started. This is the area we were in. Oh, yeah, he's gonna... St <laughs> it's pretty good. And specifically, if you remember correctly, I... Oh, shit. Wait, so what poisons you? One thing I wanted to check. Is there something that removes poison? That's tar. I don't think this would. Deals poison damage. Uh, stamina regeneration. I don't know if there is. Yeah, that's the thing, like, if it gets you, it's gonna fuck you up. You know. It was, yeah, it was crazy. The one thing I hate about the poison in this game is that it, like, fucks with your screen. Like, that's unnecessary. 
Okay. Seems to go. Maybe it has something to do with the agua. As in the water. I don't know. Yeah, what up? So I'm gonna check out like what it's going on, like what poisoned me. I thought it was the corpse of this dude, but I guess it's not. Oh, pop. That's, I don't know if there is. Maybe. This is what I'm thinking of. Like what if the mushrooms that normally give you poison remove poison when you have it? I mean, there is no reason technically not to check it, you know. Because if I'm poisoned, I'm going to be poisoned anyways. Oh shit, speaking of. Alright. This is an experiment. Because I picked up like a shit ton of these. Oh fuck, oh I was already not poisoned. There was something, what does it say? Uh, deal 40 poison damage. Those familiar gain immunity to poison damage for 120. Oh, so you just gotta like, you know. Don't do this with real mushrooms. That's not how real mushrooms work. And that if you eat enough, you become immune. Fuck. He did it again. How did I roll? Man, this is not how physics works. Yeah, but the thing about the item descriptions is you don't know anything about them until you use them enough. Motherfuck. That's the second time I've died like that. Yeah, until you use... It's, a, it's an okay idea, I think. It's a little bit less uh, fun with the rare items. I feel like it's okay with common items, but... I have like one of something and it's like, am I going to use it? I don't know what the fuck it is and it might be something super useful and rare and I'm just going to like use it up, you know. Fuck off, bitch. These things are literally out of uh, I Am Legend, aren't they? Come on, hit me. Yeah, because this, this poison is really short. The one they use. By the way, hey everyone. Who's here? I only did a proper introduction to the people who were early, but hello. Is he gonna attack? He did attack, but whatever. Come on, throw your head. Yeah, you can kill him before it. Exactly, yeah. Which is good because... You know how it is with souls items. Like, you end up not using most of them, honestly. Man, this weapon is so good. I'm so happy I got this weapon. This is a pretty cool enemy, I gotta admit. Yeah, I end up. Fair point, fair point. To be honest, I was like that in like Final Fantasy as well. Oh, he's the ambush one. Hey Dallas, what's up, man? Doing good, doing good. Hope everyone is doing the, doing the good. Yes, English. 
doing good as well. Fucking. You know what? This reminds me just at work, you know, like. Fucking British people are crazy. I love them. You know, I lived there for four years, but they're so fucking polite, like insanely polite. Like every email starts with, hope you are doing well. Every single goddamn email. Even if you're like in the middle of a conversation already, it's like, bruh, you wrote me yesterday. I said I was doing well. Uh, ain't much changed, you know. Whatever. Yeah, it does feel like summer is just kind of ended. It was mad cold yesterday. Uh, I had to put on a jacket going out to walk the dog. I was pissed. I feel like this is not jacket weather yet. Yeah, if he throws his head, that's the thing that leaves the poison. There's that bong smoke coming out of him. Alright, I think it's gone. Large bolt. Okay. Yeah. You know how it is. Oh shit. What the hell is this? Fucking scissor hands. It's an interesting moves. This is fucking Voldo, isn't it? This is Voldo. He even got the moves, you know. The back turned fucking stance. Yeah, oh shit, was that a Mimic? No, there's Quenching Acid. I don't know if there's Mimics in this game, kinda. Uh, yeah, I mean, we stay warm normally. Uh, the Like, yesterday was an outlier. Today it was good again. Um, and it's gonna be mad hot during the weekend. So, you know, can't exactly, can't exactly complain. I'm gonna go this way first. Cause you know. I'd rather deal with vampires than Voldos. And when I get that quenching acid on this weapon, that's gonna be fucking insane. No, luckily no. Luckily no. I would be pissed. I would be like real pissed if that happened. I bet this just loops around, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. So what's over here? Oh shit. A cinematic camera angle. Did you see that? The first martyr gave neither blood nor mud nor money. I almost read nor money. Still. Exactly. This is definitely gonna be an enemy. Or there's definitely gonna be an enemy here. Petrified winter glass. Fits inside the martyr's blade. Oh the martyr's blade is like one of our weapons. I think the great sword. Probably. Alright, so we got one path forward. Let me just check my weapons. Uh, Cause you can... You can have a look, I think. Key items... Yeah, the Martyr's Blade is the great sword. I don't like that weapon. The Hallowed Sword and the Hammer and Chisel are the are the main things. Other weapons can fuck off.
Okay, why am I fighting this guy around the pillar? Not a good idea. Exactly, you know. Eat shit, Voldo. Man, I haven't played Soul Calibur in so long. I actually like that game too. Oh, fuck. Hmm. What do I have this weapon upgraded to? This is just base level. Maybe you can't even check. You know what? This is actually a pretty small dungeon. And since I killed all the enemies. I think before we fight that boss. That's definitely a boss. Like 100%. That is a boss. Before we fight him, I want to go and use the quenching acid. I'm only going to use this weapon and the other one, the hallowed sword, so... Might as well. The only thing is, what if I want to use the hallowed sword? Yeah, whatever. I'm going to stop meditating on that. Okay. Let's get this weapon to plus two, because I think the hallowed sword I already have at plus two. So, we Gucci, we Gucci, I can't even, the guy, I really can't talk today. What the fuck is going on? Uh, you don't stream for a while. You know, forget the ability to talk. Lose the ability to talk. Whatever. Anyways. I guess it's boss time. This is a tiny dungeon. If this is the actual boss. I don't think it is, but... If it is, there's a tiny. Maybe this is where you're meant to go first. And the other parts are just, I don't know. Enshrined Sanctum. Oh shit. Enslaved Grisha. Oh shit. Motherfuck. Okay, so that one you gotta harden. I haven't exactly figured out the attack pattern yet. God, that is some Dark Souls 2S attack. We're gonna use a rat. Exactly. Rubber baby buggy bumper. <laughs> You're right. What? Did I not harden? I thought I did a harden. Oh yeah, I forget. This game is a dodge backwards type game. I tried dodging through him. Yeah, I'm stupid. Oh, he's making like ice pillars come down. He's like Uncle Gale. This guy has some serious stun lock on his attacks. Pop a rat. Oh shit, okay. Oh, but they can hit him too. Can they not hit him? Oh fuck. 
stalactites or stalagmites. There was like uh, something about that, like I don't remember if it was a meme or whatever, whether it's stalactites or stalagmites. Was it from a movie? Okay. Oh, he's dead. That was insanely easy. Oh, because this is just a warm-up boss. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thought this area was... New dialogue? It was a he. We're at the ice area. Oh, by the way, I didn't thank Nishka who followed. Thank you for the follow. Um, what was that tongue twister? Rubber baby buggy bumper, rubber baby buggy bumper, rubber baby buggy bumper, rubber baby... That's way too much. I feel like I'm warmed up now, rubber baby buggy bumper. I'm a rap god. Get on my level. What up, ice area? Ice areas can go two ways. They can be... So you can have like the Elaeum Lois type ice area or you can have a frigid wasteland type ice area. So... I don't know which one this one's gonna be. Fist fight on the first flight, fist fight on the first flight. That one is easier. Fist fight on the first flight. This is a nice looking ice area. Because again, like... Exactly. This dude is stylish as fuck, by the way. I like him. Honestly, I'm liking this uh, tanky character with a fast kind of dex-ish weapon. I feel like this is, a, this is a good setup. I do like the other dude as well, Solomon or whatever his name is. He has more... Because yeah, he can dodge. Way more. But he also have to be fair, he also doesn't have a, do a dodge that is good that's as good as this. This dude has the proper Dark Souls style roll. And the other dude kinda has like a in between of this and Bloodborne. And these are just like rip off their heads. Okay with that. I am noticing you also don't get their souls. When they go like this. Which I guess makes sense, you know. This is a uh, death by suicide. I feel like this bridge is gonna collapse. Like, if I've ever seen an unstable bridge. No? Alright. Apparently I'm mistaken. There's a dude with a mace. A big ass shield too. Oh fuck. Straight up knocked my ass down. Oh shit. The issue is... I keep hitting the shield. 
And I'm dealing damage to him. Okay, that's when you attack. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, hit it. What? How the fuck did he die? He just like straight up dropped dead. I'm okay with that, by the way. That was not a complaint. But damn. Stalactite, stick tie, stalagmites. What? Oh fuck, okay. Bad time to read chat. So I'm getting knives thrown at me. Did I just push him down? Yeah, I did. Alright, be careful. Man, things are gonna be hella covered in poison again. Which is bad. So yeah, you gotta kill them before they throw their head. That's the only way to get their souls. So, stalagmite, stalactite, stick tight, stalagmites, what if they could? It's almost a tongue twister on its own, you know. Stalactite, stick tight. Yeah. I think most people use it interchangeably. I just noticed we have hella glimpses. Oh, oh there's a long one from Jay Walker. Alright, hold on. Let me kill this headless. Or he's headed right now. Are you gonna be headless soon? So, Betty Butter bought some butter, but the butter was too bitter, too bitter. So Betty bought some better butter, better than the bitter butter. Jesus. All right. So that one is a challenge to memorize. Even more than to say. The reason I'm coming this way is because I, oh, there's one here as well. Shit. This looks like the treasure room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there are some crazy ones. Alright, we're gonna be chilling for a while. Cause he he did the poison and right in the doorway. And well I guess technically. I could just not give a shit, but I feel like this might be a parry enemy. Oh but you gotta be like Yeah. Yeah, this is a parry enemy. Early reading book. Peter Pumpkin Eater. Nice. So, okay, so this is where the items are for the... I get it, so each area contains the, like, items you need for the weapon. Like the buffing items. Alright, so I need... Not glimpses, but I need... Uh, the parrying thingy. And for that I think you gotta drink. Yeah, you do. 
I'm gonna pop two right away. You know how we do it. Dodge. All right. Figured it out. Okay, so wait for it. This is a mad annoying to fight. That's such an obvious trap. Amazing trap ahead. Oh, and these guys don't give a fuck, do they? About stun locking. Come on, yep. I'm liking this dungeon. This is so far. This is in the category of good ice areas. I'll give it up. Has like a nice atmosphere to it, although more linear than the first dungeon I went to. The only issue is I'm running out of healing items. I don't like the way that's looking. I don't want to fuck off. Fuck off with your head. Um, the question is... By the way... I actually made an effort to charge my controller this time around, so for this stream we are fully powered up. Because both of my controllers were close to dying and I was like, yeah, I better take care of that. Question is always, is this the shortcut back to the checkpoint or is it the other area? This looks like the way forward. I have a 21 stack of that buff. You know how it is. You only get the most professional streaming from the boy. Oh shit. Exactly what I didn't want. To fight one of these fuckers. Okay. Listen. About that thing. That this is a more linear dungeon. I take it back. Shit. And there's like some serious impact to that. it up stop doing that please just attack normally yes thank you I'll get there in the end don't worry technically okay I have no idea what the hell you're supposed to do against this guy because my weapons tri oh I think I know you have to like tactically use your freeze what up 
These guys are pretty hilarious. Hmm. This looks like the way forward as well. That's the thing I hate the most, when both of them look like... Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'll go back down, and this is my... Did I just take fall damage from that? I think I did. We'll go down here and look around, because now I've changed my mind. I thought this would be the way forward, but I think it might be the other place. Up the stairs. And this might be the shortcut. I could be wrong. Come on, bitch. Nice. So, man, I wish there were backstabs in this game. Instead, we only got parries. Professional parries. Fried Lake, Eric Perch, Tuck as fuck. That. That sounds really good. I had tortillas for dinner as well, but just, you know, wrap some ham into it. I didn't. I am. I'm not quitting alcohol, but... Oh, what? Excuse me. Excuse. Like, you know, listen, don't, like, don't get worried. I haven't gone mad. But... I did drink a lot during the summer. Uh, so I'm taking, uh, nice, getting hella quenching acids. Not even a break, because I'm still drinking, but I'm, like, limiting myself. So, I'll have one beer on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays only. One beer per day. And that's, like, my little personal limit, you know. Okay. Oh shit. This comes back, damn. I didn't notice there was... Alright, fair enough game, fair enough. I'm gonna die. Shit, I'm definitely gonna die now. The thing is I have a 30 stack built up for the damage buff. But I don't know whether that has like a limit, an upper limit or not. So, whatever. Because that goes away once you get knocked out of your body. But my logic is, like, if I waste all my healing items, you know, I have to backtrack all the way. Yeah, snow areas are really great uh, when they're done right, you know. Shit. Okay, so that is just a dude. That didn't sound right. Yeah, that that was bound to happen, honestly. Oh, 
Oh fuck. If he hits you with the shield and you're hardened, he loses it. Okay. I got it. Anyone ever play Lifeless Planet? No, I have not. But yeah, back to the snow areas. When a snow area is done right, it can be really good. Perfect example is Metroid Prime. Excellent snow area. What is that game? A Lifeless Planet. That's not the one where you gotta like maintain a city in like the winter and it's kind of like an RTS. That's not that game, right? Because there's like a turn-based tactical RPG, not RPG even, it's like a strategy game, city builder, where the world is like frozen, but it's like steampunk-ish. I don't see how... Okay, it's sci-fi. Okay, so he straight up loses. Okay. Okay. I think I'm confusing it with another one. Because the game I'm talking about as well looked super interesting to me too. What is this lifeless planet? I'm gonna like Google it so I don't forget. Lifeless planet. Oh, I have seen this one, but only images of it. Frostpunk, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Story is really neat. Okay. I enjoy a neat story. Fuck. Yeah, Frostbunk is apparently a really good game. I heard nothing but good things about it. Okay, I might check that out. This is one million percent a shortcut. At least, yep, it hella is. I knew it. My shortcut detecting senses were tingling. Problem is we gotta, if I wanna level up, I gotta <sighs> the respawning of the enemies, you know how it is. Always, always with these games. So what can we get? Harden in the air to create a devastating air. Okay, fuck that. Regain last chance upon defeating enough foes. Extra damage against enemies who are alone. Poise damage. We're getting that. And unfortunately, there's no workbench here. So I cannot upgrade my weapon. A walking simulator sounds boring, but there are some good ones out there. I'm gonna go back and upgrade my weapon. Um, 
Yeah, exactly. Because for some reason, for some reason, that was started as a derogatory term, walking simulator, but somehow it ended up being the official name of the genre. I don't know why. Because there are some people who immediately dismiss walking simulators. Uh, is there no way back? Kick that bitch. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the kick. Shit. You cannot jump in this game, can you? No, you cannot. Fuck, I think there is no way back. Yeah, again, that's one of the uh, like major things I usually disagreed on with like all the PC YouTuber guys. You know, like the Total Biscuits and others, because they're always shitting on walking simulator. Used to always shit on walking simulators, and uh, I actually kind of like some of them. Fuck, if there is no way to go And there better we uh, there better be a way to get back. Seriously. It's gonna be mad annoying because I have like two quenching acids. And I'm not gonna be able to use it, thank you. I like how cinematic the parries are in this game. That's a neat a neat little system. Kick that open. I wonder what happens if I kick this guy. Oh shit! <sighs> Things just got a thousand times easier. Kick that fucking shield away. I didn't see what we picked up because I was finding him. Whatever. That's much easier than having to parry them. Ha, <laughs> interesting. So you're like getting the stream spoiled for yourself by people in the chat unintentionally you know what damn I wanted to go for a plunging attack it's all good I don't think Dean minded honestly But that's like an interesting stream dynamic, you know. It's like Twitch plays Pokemon except you have no influence over what's gonna happen. So I guess it's not like Twitch plays Pokemon. At all. Twitch plays Pokemon was crazy. I, I thought that was that was like a really neat idea. It's a football Oh shit, I just realized something. How the fuck am I gonna get healing items? Like it's impossible to go back. No don't don't no 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 You cannot reverse Shit. A football game on the... Well, hasn't football started already in the US? I thought it did. Yeah, fuck off back into this cave. He did, yeah. It's what they do. It's their thing. 
You know what's a crazy game? Fucking Australian football. It's gotta be an Australian... It's gotta be an Australian version of everything, you know? Do I got a solution for you? Except for the camera angle. So what they do is when they lose enough HP, they freak out a bit and they proceed to toss their head. Yeah. But you know, technically, you know, I was in the US during both the 2012 and the 2016, part of the 2016 elections. And it's like that every year. The only difference is that there's a pandemic going on. But people there go crazy during every election year. Although, you know, like I'm talking, like here's any different. We have this exact same thing. Except for the fact that we're essentially ruled by one political party. Uh, so there, there ain't much you can do here, technically. I mean, technically you can, but it ain't gonna do shit. Man, do I have a solution for that shield. Martyr's Altar. Uh, I'm smelling a boss fight. Yeah, just look at that. <laughs> Elon, when, what? Are you seeing that? That is some Dante's Inferno shit. Look at that. Face palming statue, Dante's Inferno, and our girl. Do you feel the the I'm guessing that's the Immaculate. Yeah, Elon better be ready with that Mars rocket. Uh, gonna be on the first one. Gonna Twitch stream it. I guess there's not much we can do, honestly. Fuck, I don't like that. Oh, shit. I don't like that you cannot get out of here. I, yeah, I'm honestly surprised by it. That's definitely the boss. Because I was thinking of two games. Either this one or there was another one that people suggested, which is more of like a sci-fi type Souls game. And this one is the better one. Okay, so that's definitely the boss. Oh, there might be a way out after all. Yeah, so overall from what I heard, this is the better one. I might play that one later as well. What is it called? Hell, hell point. Is it hell point? It's not hell point. It's hell something in the super generic, mega generic name. So, maybe I'll play that one as well. It's not bad. Hellpoint, yeah, Hellpoint. 
People say it's not bad, but it's a little bit more clunky than this one from what I heard. Same deal as this game, but it just takes... It's Souls-like, yeah. I, I like the setting. It kind of takes place in almost like a Doom-type environment in that it's sci-fi, but it also has like knights and demons and shit. What is this guy gonna be? Listen, don't ask me how any liquid is getting through that armor. He's just pouring it on into the eye sockets. Yeah, that's that's the impression I got from Steam. Like the pictures and the vids. But again, people say that it's a little bit more clunky than this one. So it has it has more issues than this game, for example. This, this game is very well... Oh, fuck. It's like a... Uh, it's what you call it. What are the frost, frost guys called? Fucking hell. It's a... Motherfucker. I'm gonna hate this. Okay, at least there's a sound cue. Is this just gonna be like skating around like an asshole all day? Oh, there you are. Shit, AoE. Nothing personnel, kid. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of HP. What the? It's an... He's an elite. From Halo. Okay, you cannot parry him. I don't think you can parry bosses. Shit. Time for a rat. Okay, you gotta only go for one hit. Shit. I don't like... That's difficult to predict. Please be a one face boss fight. I am like... Really counting on it. Do you see them reflexes? What <laughs> this is such a... <laughs> okay, I like this guy. Where is he? What? He threw his shit? That, that gets me every single time. Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm assuming uh, that it is uh, yeah, like a meme, right? It can't actually be him. That would be pretty funny. That's almost like the level of ridiculous that it cycles around to being funny, you know? Like there's, I don't know if you guys have seen Vic Berger, he's a YouTuber and he makes like edits of Trump speeches and it's the funniest shit. Um, and there was, you know, like he doesn't like over edit them, he just like adds air horns and like other meme sounds and shit. But some of them are so funny. Uh, I was like dying at the one, there's one where he said that. I don't know what he was talking about, but the sentence was that 
they're the best at using the oh it was isis that isis is the best at using the internet maybe except for donald trump he said it like of himself in the third person okay i gotta like not die here they're the best at using the internet maybe maybe except for donald trump please be one phase like like i'm if this is not a one phase boss i'm gonna lose my shit It's not a. Fuck. We in trouble. We are in trouble. It's like attack pattern is gonna change as well. Yeah, no GG's here. Okay, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That didn't do anything. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, no you don't. I was gonna say, is this game like Sekiro where you have another respawn? At the new phase, it's not like Sekiro. Okay. This ain't good. Yeah, I thought the bri yeah it could be. I thought his like big AOE was his final, like death blow or some shit like that. Like you know how the demon explodes in Dark Souls Three. It wasn't. Question is, do we switch dudes? I really okay. Listen, I gotta be honest with you. I really don't like that you cannot get out of here. I have like a shit ton of effigy of teals so I can switch. I don't have an effigy of Solomon though. Fuck. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, that's got to be again. That's got to be like a troll, right? Joe Biden Animal Crossing. Pretty good. Cause I feel like like Nintendo would be exactly the types to really be against that because you know how like Nintendo is very like rigid. They for a long time they didn't even allow let's plays and streams of their games because they're crazy like that. I just noticed that, is that us in the background, just like standing there like idiots, watching this guy's intro? <laughs> oh no, that's, that's my body. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. What a cutscene that would be. Because you always wonder, you know, whenever these, like, big bosses do their big cinematic intros, whether your character just, like, stands there like an idiot. But apparently, yes. Okay, I think so. The main deal with these bosses is that you just gotta be mega slow with how you take this. Is he gonna charge? Yeah, he is. I think that's the tactic for this game. Except when he teleports behind you, literally. 
Nothing personnel. Luckily again, th this game is mega generous with the iframes. Okay, I can hear, yeah, I can hear the sword. Two, swing, and big hit. You have pretty good chance after that. Hey, Bantic. What's up, man? Glad you could stop by. Shit. Okay, that didn't go well. Fuck. Okay. Big hit. Dodge. Oh, I wish I was playing a guy with more stamina. It's coming to bite me in the ass. Trading it for HP. I think... <laughs> yeah. Haven't gone back since, honestly. It is the... It is the business. This weapon. Okay. Oh, he's going for the AoE. Is he transforming already? Or it was no, that was just a big ass AoE. Please don't go for the slide again. Man, this guy can really surprise you with his teleports. Okay, I think I should have him. Yeah. Oh shit, invisible? Okay, we gotta like figure out his attack pattern in this phase. Aside from Artorias, that's his attack pattern. What the fuck is that movement? He has a lot of HP. Do your thing. Um... Did he just straight up freeze me? I think he did. Oh, he has a lot of HP. I'm fucked. Whoa! That is some crazy tracking. I have no idea what the hell he's doing. He's skating around like an idiot. Yeah, okay. A bound to happen. Shit, I'm... I honestly think I'm in trouble, boys. Like, look, look at this. Okay, I think that might be a freeze opportunity when he does that big attack he's like cock teasing you
Here's the thing that I didn't know what it did. I'm staying away from it, like far away from it. It's a freeze, yep. Okay. Might be a good. Oh shit. That seemed to work actually. Yeah. Because I think that's meant to be more like uh, him dodging you. Again, like a cock tease. Okay, I think that's bad. I think... Uh-oh. Fuck off. I'm gonna heal again. I ain't taking no risks. I say as I'm getting hit. I don't like how tense this has gotten. I'm gonna be honest with you. Fuck. I don't like to be this slow on HP with a boss that has that much HP left. With zero healing items. Okay, I still have the mortal shell or token or whatever. Use it. Okay. Do it. Ah, oh, fuck. It's not what was supposed to happen. Oh no. Look at this shit. I think he's dead. Yes. <sighs> Martyr the martyr. Nice pun. Glimpse of insignificance. This motherfucker is insignificant. Like all hell. Thanks for the GG's. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Jumping attacks. Oh, what the hell is this? It's like... Damn. Stop talking. That, that was the Khal Drogo kill. Crystalline gland. Okay. Nice ambient lighting again. That, yeah, like literally, I even have the Khal Drogo weapons, uh, except he was using two, dra two daggers, I think. Yep. I'm like shaking like an... Do you see how my character is shaking like a chihuahua? What if she's the final boss? I've thought about this. Okay, so we gotta figure out how the hell we're gonna get out of here. Um, because if I saw correctly, like, you cannot go back. 
So maybe this is where you get the hell out of here. Right? Listen. What if we have like an Ashandra situation on our hands? If you do know who the final boss is, don't spoil it or what it is. All right. Guess that's not the exit. Which means we got to we got to backtrack. Oh fuck. Are you kidding me? Okay, run then. This shit gonna be like, do we have a Metroid situation on our hands? Exactly. If that's not the final boss, I'm gonna refund this game. I want my money back. Ouch. So this is a slow poison in the game. This one I'm not that worried about. Still gonna... It's the healing items that are the problem or lack thereof. Because the rest of this shit is easy. I'm not going to mess with any like side pads. Seriously? Alright then. We're gonna play like that. It's like genuinely difficult to see sometimes. I think I'm in a lot of trouble. I mean, it's a neat idea, I think. I had an easier time in the previous dungeon because I just ran out. And I pretty much ignored all the enemies. Can't really do that here. It looks like. Yeah, this is where. Oh yeah, because when you exit a dungeon, these guys spawn everywhere. These vampire thingies. As you probably tell, I've learned the name of every enemy. Like the aforementioned vampire thingy. But these guys are easy as hell now. Like, they used to be pretty scary early on, and now it's just like, whatever, just kill them with the hammer and chisel. Like, who gives a shit?
Yeah, it is. One thing is interesting. People said... I think it was y Yartrix on Discord that people are already doing shell-less runs of this game. He's done one as well. Which means that you're in that uh, initial one-hit death state uh, and you don't use the shells. Now, that is some crazy shit. But, you know, this is a Souls-like. And people are gonna come up with insane challenges. Okay, there's a lot of you motherfuckers here. Don't mess with Will Smith. I am legend vampire thing. I agree, yeah, that's... To me that sounds crazy. But I mean, I guess... People have done no hits of... Dark Souls, you know, so... It's really, you know... The usual thing, learning parrying, learning attack patterns. Okay, so how the fuck do we get out? They built a little platform. Awesome. Why couldn't this platform be here at the start? I'm a little bit more tempted to just ignore the enemies in this area. I don't know. Mr. Headless here is... They, they didn't notice me. I can sneak by. I mean, this is an interesting... I like games that do this, where you have two states of the world. You know, like here you have this, like, I guess more difficult state where... Uh, where you have these, like, vampire thingies everywhere. Where is he the movie Omega Man that Will Smith Legend was based on? No, I haven't. I do like I Am Legend. Okay, thank you for... <laughs> you just walked... Okay. Nice. Ooh. That's how I like my enemies. Suicidal. Oh, that's an old one? Yeah. I'm like terrible at old movie knowledge. Very nicely synchronized, by the way. I'm out of stamina. Okay, don't you dare fall off. As I found out earlier... On 1970, that's not that old. Shit. Just for that. I'm gonna kill him. It might be one worth checking out. Okay. Omega Man. I'll keep that one in mind. Eat shit, ghosts. Man, this hammer and chisel are good. This is some good shit. And finally we have... 
place where I can still get attacked. Okay. Boost the healing effect of empowered reposts. I've been reposting more and more, honestly. And I have quenching acid. The thing is, what about the sword? I'm still hesitant on whether... Fuck it, no, I'm sticking with this weapon. I am fully committed to this weapon. Like, I'll switch between the bodies. But... Weapon-wise, I'm sticking. Because I feel like now that I'm a little bit more familiar with the game, I'm like adjusted. I can use the other guy, Solomon. I like Solaris. I I haven't seen the old ones, but I do know. I do like the 2000 and one or is it 2002 pretty good one it's very slow well that's kind of the idea you know yeah i can imagine These are some PS1 load times for sure. It's like, what can you do? Uh, where is this area though? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I'm trying to remember like where I am in relation to the world. But I'm like more familiar. Draw me the strain 1970s. Okay. You do the freak out, whatever. And I think if I remember correctly, then I have a 41 enemy streak built up. What a bitch is. Now I'm hunting the hunted. Did that make sense? No, it didn't. I'm hunting the hunter, not hunting the hunted. The hunted is supposed to be hunted. So if I remember correctly, this is a shortcut. Yeah, these enemies are, they make hella noise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in the right place. look at him he's like okay he he decided to drop interest he saw me coming out threat no don't climb back ah uh. and you gotta like go to the other side and then turn around and get back listen where's the morph ball when you need it he's just watching me crawl in and out of a hole like an idiot I did kind of forget where this puts me. Mm. Okay. 
You know what, for that you're gonna die. Oh yeah, it puts you opposite the tower. So the deal about this state of the world is that you can actually open these treasure chests. Interesting, you know, again, it's an interesting idea, kind of like how you would activate, like that, what is that challenge bell called in Sekiro? You know which one that makes the game more difficult? The same kind of idea, except the thing is, like, with this weapon setup or character setup, these guys are easy as hell. So there ain't that much added extra challenge. Quench they just gave me a quenching acid. Nice. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm gonna go and hit up this checkpoint. You know how we do it. Okay, let me check out my other dude, Solomon. This is the homie. Might go with him. So what can we get? Uh, put your enemies off balance with a... I want the kick for him as well. If I'm gonna use him. I do. I'm gonna definitely buy hello healing items. So this guy is like a euphoric atheist or something. And he's just like posting on Reddit r slash atheism. Somebody mentioned this on the VOD for the YouTube stream or like when I uploaded it, that apparently you can repair this Ballista Zooka and it's like a ranged weapon or some shit. And if I remember correctly, the bell is ringing and it's mad annoying. Yes, I did. Isn't he the one that's supposed to like get rid of it or something? Oh no no, it's him, right? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that first because I want to see what like what if anything happens. Okay, so this is ringing. This guy must be hella annoyed. He just doesn't give a shit. 8,000? Alright. Listen. So before we do any of that... I do need rats. It's hella expensive too. 8k. Whoops, my bad. I almost kicked you. Kicked you. Okay, that's 100. It's not gonna get me much. 150. Damn, I ain't got enough. How useful is the Ballista Zooka? That's the question. Because what if I just bought more rats? Right? Okay, whatever. I think we're good with that. I'll keep it in mind that I need to get 8,000. Okay, not very good. <laughs> Is that a drink or something?
It sounds like a drink. Everybody's weird in this game, like sniffing shit, they're like into feet or something. I know where it is too. See, I'm just trying or starting to think like it would okay. Your repast will unleash your true form upon foes. Oh shit. Interesting. I wanna check that out. Okay, we have quenching god now. I'm yawning. Damn, okay. One more, one more acid. Okay, let's use some glimpses. Before I use any glimpses, I'm gonna check out what if anything I can get. Uh, items, familiar with items quickly. I'm not holding a gland. Uh, this will be a good one. Whoops, wrong item. It's a bit tedious using these, but whatever. Gotta go through the motions, you know. All right, then. Yes. Give it. 150. Half an ounce of bourbon, splash of Tabasco, drop a cocktail onion. Okay. It actually doesn't sound like, listen, when I got to the Tabasco. Okay. Okay, it's officially patented. Cool. I'll make it, don't worry. I don't have 151. I don't think you can get 151 here. Maybe just the weekend version. Okay, so here is the deal, guys. I think the time has come to wrap up the stream officially. Not like there's an unofficial way of wrapping up the stream, but still, the time has come. The last temple to discover... Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. And I've been thinking this, like, what if we have with this guy, what if we have a Darksiders 1 Samael situation on our hands? If you've ever played Darksiders 1 or watched me play it, <clears throat> I have a playthrough of it. You know, you have this, like, chained demon or, like, locked away demon called Samael. And he, like, tricks you into bringing him shit. And then he gets freed and he's, like, super powerful and evil and shit. What if this is the final boss? It doesn't matter. If it is him, this weapon is gonna put him down. Okay, we'll head to the final temple in the next episode, so... Yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this stream. Uh, I will continue with this game on Saturday. Sorry about the delayed streams. I was gonna stream on Tuesday, Thursday, but I got interrupted by the storm. You think he's the boss? I think like he looks like it, right? Anyways, normal videos tomorrow and on Friday and see you Saturday. Until then, peace out guys. Good night.